All right, students, um, for your assignment this week, you were to take the handout that I gave you that uh, looks something like this. Actually, it should look a lot like this. And you're going to use that to practice um, your note-taking techniques that you learned in class. And you're going to apply it to some information that I'm going to give you. But this information that I'm giving you is actually really important. It's a lecture for next week's class, and it's about active reading, which is the next topic that we're going to get into. Okay, so you do need to listen well and legitimately take notes on this because this is information that we're going to build on when I see you in class next week. All right, so today our topic is active reading. Now, before you start writing anything down, let's just think about that term, active reading. Does that sound anything like what we've been talking about in class with another topic? Uh, hopefully, it's sounding similar to you to active listening, right? Now, if you remember, active listening is different than just listening, okay? Um, listening or hearing is an act of the senses. It just happens. Sound waves go in and your brain hears, okay? Active listening was an act of the will. You had to force yourself to focus and pay attention to what was being spoken or listened to, and you were actively engaged in this, okay? So that's active listening. So now we're talking about active reading. Hmm, sounds to me like it's probably gonna take a little bit more focus and attention and probably a lot more energy than if we're just passively reading for relaxation, okay? So, have any of you ever been reading a book and kind of spaced out and then been like, whoa, <laughs> I don't know what just happened on the last two pages. I wasn't paying any attention, okay? You were reading, but you weren't actively engaged with reading, okay? That can be a real problem if you're doing a homework assignment and you have just read two or three pages of your textbook and then been like, whoa, I don't know what I just read, and now it's time to answer the questions, okay? Um, you want to learn how to train your brain to actively read um, for academic purposes, for your everyday life purposes, so that you're engaged with the information, and the information has a better chance of going in and being remembered, okay? So active reading is different than just moving your eyes across the page, all right? So active reading. By now you have probably figured out that active reading is the topic for today. So you'd be writing in on your piece of paper, active reading. In order to understand what active reading is, you're going to need a definition. So that's going to go under A. Active reading definition. I'm going to give you the definition right now. But again, you want to be listening first, not writing right away. Active reading simply means reading something with a determination to understand and evaluate it for its relevance to your needs. I'm going to repeat that. Active reading simply means reading something with a determination to understand and evaluate it for its relevance to your needs. Okay? So think that with me. It's a determination to understand and evaluate material for its relevance to your needs. All right. What do you think are some key words that might come from that definition? All right. Um, perhaps determined, determination we heard. Um, reading something with determination to understand and evaluate its relevance to your needs. So the first thing you might want to be thinking is that it's determined. 
Okay? So under one, you would write determined. Um, and it's a determination to understand and evaluate. We don't want to be writing a whole bunch of words, okay? So maybe you could do something like this, determined. And it's determined reading so that you can understand and evaluate. Evaluate's a long word. You can just write eval, okay? So it's determined reading to help you understand and evaluate something for its relevance to your needs. What does relevance mean? Okay, if you don't know what relevance means, it's not going to help you to have the definition. Okay, um, relevance is maybe something like importance. Right. So you're trying to use determined reading to understand and evaluate to determine its relevance for your needs. Okay. And if you didn't know what relevance meant, you could just write the word understand. All right. So now let's take another look at this um, uh, definition. Determined. What does determined mean to you? Okay, determined might be like, I can do it. It's purposeful. All right, so what you might want to do is circle determined and then just write on it that it's purposeful. That will help you further remember what kind of reading it is. Um, let's take another look at the word understand and evaluate. What might that mean to you if you're going to understand or evaluate something? Okay. If you're going to understand and evaluate, it means you're going to pay attention. Okay. You got to have a good attitude. Okay. So I'm going to write on here under understand or next to understand, pay attention. All right. So hopefully you guys grabbed your click pens. If you didn't, you probably want to grab them now. All right. So that's just helping you further understand the definition. And then we talked about relevance, that relevance means importance, all right? So um, I might want to write that down just to help me remember. So I've taken that definition about what active reading is, and I've made it into something that's very easy for me to look at, uh, to remember, all right? So the full definition was um, active reading simply means reading something with a determination to understand and evaluate it for its relevance to your needs. So you took all that and put that into that little line of information. Okay, good job. You might want to add a, um, a little bit more about that definition and that's what we're gonna discuss right now, okay? Um, active reading is also an effective method to help you remember what you read. Active reading is effective. So that would be the next thing you'd want to write down under number two. It's effective. Okay? Effective. That means it's going to help you remember what you read. Simply reading and rereading is not an effective way to learn. Your brain needs more than this. Effective means it works. Okay? So if you're like, well, what does effective mean? Why do I want to do this? You might want to use your click pen and write, you know, effective. It works. So if you're going to be reading something for class, um, you want to read it effectively. You want it to work. You want it to get into your brain. Active reading is going to help you do that. It's good to know active reading is more effective than just reading and then rereading and then looking at your questions and going, oh no, what was I supposed to know the answer to? And rereading again. That is ineffective and it takes more time. Okay? And that's actually the third point is that active reading will save time. It saves you time in the long run. Active reading saves time. By actively reading, we are actively engaging with the content and it better prepares you to answer questions, um, pass quizzes, and write papers. Okay? All right, so what I want you to do right now is look at what you just wrote down. It should look very similar to this. Okay? 
And I want you to, you know, hit pause and define in your own way then, looking at the words that you have here, what active reading is, okay? So press pause and do that. I'm assuming you pressed pause. I can't press pause or I'll lose everything I recorded. I'm just gonna take a look at my notes here and I'm gonna come up with a definition that makes sense to me. Um, active reading is reading that is determined and purposeful, that helps me understand and evaluate whether something I'm reading is relevant or important to me. Active reading is effective, it works, and it saves time, okay? What I don't have included, and you might want to put down in your notes, is I can hardly wait now to get to class and learn the techniques because that's what we're going to do when I see you guys on Tuesday, is now that you know the definition of what active reading is, we're going to go ahead and get started with active reading. So make sure that you have your click pen and your highlighter and your post-it notes when you come to class on Tuesday and be ready to actively read. Also, make sure that you bring um, the handout so that you can show me the notes that you took uh, during this little session. All right, thank you guys. God bless you.